Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the media settings inside the WordPress settings area. So here we are in our test site, wp-phd.com. And to get to the media settings, all you have to do is hover over settings in the left-hand menu, and then click on media. On the next page, we see a handful of options that you can adjust. You may have specific plugins or a theme installed that extends the options that you see here but these are the default ones. So the first section is the image sizes and we have three options, thumbnail size, medium size, and large size. If you upload a really big image, say it's 3000 by 4000 pixels, WordPress will upload the original file size to a folder and it will also resize that image to fit into the large size category and save that as a separate file. It will then resize it into the medium size category and save that as a separate file and the same thing for the th thumbnail size. So you end up having four different images, the original, large size, medium size, thumbnail size. The reason it does this is because of site speed. So if you have a 4,000 by 3,000 pixel image, it might be over one megabyte in size. And you are able to shrink it down to thumbnail size using HTML code, but that small, tiny thumbnail size image will still be over a megabyte because you've just told HTML to render the really big one in a really small format. So the reason WordPress resizes the images and saves them again is to make sure that the image file size is small. So this thumbnail size, it might only be of 10 kilobytes instead of over a megabyte. And that will help your website load a whole lot faster. And then the developers of a theme, they can tell WordPress whether to use the medium large or thumbnail size image in which location. So if you use, for example, if you have a theme where you can use the featured image option on a post, the theme developer might say, okay, for the featured image that's directly on the post, use the large size. When it appears on the home page, use the medium size. When it appears on a blog listing, use the thumbnail size image. So then WordPress knows which size image to use and they're always optimized to load as fast as possible. So that's why we have these options. And you can adjust them as you need to. In general, the default ones are just dandy. You don't need to really change anything here. The only thing to consider is for the thumbnail size, if your image isn't square and you choose the crop option, WordPress will crop a certain part of the image to make it square. If you're okay with that, that's fine. If you uncheck this box, you may get resized images that don't fit the square space that's defined in the theme. So if you have a blog listing where every featured image is 150 by 150 pixels and you choose not to crop them, you might get some images that are 150 pixels wide and only 10 pixels high, or you might get some that are 10 pixels wide and 150 pixels wide. So you might get all kinds of variations, whereas if you crop them, WordPress crops them to size, makes sure they're all the same size, and it might not crop them 100%, so it might not be exactly how you want them cropped, but it at least keeps them all uniform. And the last option we have is the uploading files option. If you check this box, inside of your uploads folder, you will see year folders, and inside each of the year folders, you will see month folders. So if you started your website this year, you will see a year folder for this year with whatever months you've uploaded images inside of that yearly folder. And then when next year comes around, WordPress will make a new folder for that year and then new months inside of that year folder. So it's all very organized into month and day. If you don't, or sorry, into year and, and month, if you don't check this box, all the images will just be put into the uploads folder and just be a whole hodgepodge of images. They won't be chronologically sorted. And really that's a matter of preference. Generally, I don't poke around in the uploads folder too often. I don't really need to know which month and which year I posted an image. So for me, it doesn't really matter which one to choose. I usually keep this box checked just to keep things organized. Otherwise, it's just a mess of images in that folder. And that really, that's all there is to the media settings, unless you have plugins that extend the functionality. So in this video, we learned what the media settings in WordPress do, what they mean, and where to find them. And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you 
Share it on social media, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write WordPress tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.